But um, so if you if you have God, of course, if you have God on your side, you need to pray because it's not easy. The competition is a lot. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of DJs are spinning up everywhere. It's a lot. So how are you how, how are you managing to it's good, stay afloat? It's good. I mean, it's you have to keep rebranding yourself. You know, it's like a product that you have. You know, as a consumer or a customer, you want to see different things of that product. You don't want to just keep seeing the same old thing. You have to keep rebranding, keep thinking of different ideas. Um, you know, so it's it's quite a lot, but it keeps me going and the passion is a lot. And I think DJing goes beyond just coming and playing music. Oh, yes, because I was, I was actually talking with a DJ mm. and, you know, he was playing a particular kind of music. Yeah. And I went to him and said, What's up with this? Yeah. <laughs> and he told me, I know the audience. That's that what is what they want. <laughs> and indeed, I just looked and everybody kept dancing. Yeah. And he was playing. And so how he, you, he had to do his yeah. research yes. to know his audience yes. and know when, what yeah. to play yeah. and what not to play. Yeah. So as not to upset them. Of because course. if you upset people, then you dance your music yourself. Tell us how. For instance, you might walk into a place, you might have done your research. Mm. Maybe Yami's having a party mm. and he inv she invites mm. you. Mm. And you think, okay, Yami being who she is, mm. we should play music that is not too loud, mm. not too mm. fast, mm. mid-tempo. Yeah. And then you get there and find that it's a oh, mixed it crowd. Yes. So how do you, you, how do you determine the mood of a crowd? Um, did you watch the Big Brother Africa? I don't know if you followed it. Um, in Africa, in South Africa, so it's where you get all these contest contestants in Africa come to a house, stay for 90 days. Um, so I DJed in the Big Brother house, right? It's a house that has, let's say, about 20 people from different African countries. Now, I did my research as to what they like. Each when I got person. it, yeah, I had to. I watched the show. I slept every day watching that show, trying to understand the sort of music they like. Now I got to the house. They flew me to South Africa. I got there. When I got there, I played certain songs. They didn't like it. But I had to switch quickly. And coming to your question now, you have to have at the back of your mind there are certain songs that the general people always like. For example, if I play Michael Jackson, you both like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> if I play this um, Gaul song, Magic City, you have to dance because it's an African song. So you have to know certain songs that you know that will always make the general public dance. You have your normal songs that you play, but there are certain songs like I just gave you Michael Jackson. Everyone loves Michael Jackson. Okay, now there's another question I wanted to ask. We're almost out of time now. Right. And are the DJs not bothered? Because it looks as if African music is almost sounding the same. same. Right. It's about the same, the same kind of beats, yeah. the same yeah. kind of yeah. you know, videos. No, no, not, not even the videos, the sound. Yeah. Our DJ is not bothered that all of African music are almost sounding like it's the same thing. So you could play 10 songs, and same, same beat, thing. <laughs> same tempo, same yeah. flow and all. I mean, you, you, I don't know if you want to use the word bothered or scared. Um, they do sound alike, no doubt. Um, but well, there's a few yeah, changes, that's just that's a minor change that some some people might not yeah. notice. But I think it's it's for for the producers. Yeah, it's uh, they're doing what it's a certain sound that rings at a certain point. So like now you have the Corey de Bello Godwin. There's a certain sound that goes with that one. Uh, most people want to copy that and go with that trend. It's it's what we I don't want to say Nigerians, but most Africans are doing. You know. And as long as it gets the people dancing, believe me, they're not bothered. That's all that matters. So if they want to follow the trend of Corey de Bello, Godwin, if people are going to dance 10 minutes to that, they're happy with that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the, just get the people dancing. Yeah. So even if the words, the wordings of the music are, are <laughs> very negative, right? I mean, just get the people dancing. Do you really think people think about the, the lyrics? Words. The words? I think when you're in a club, I don't think a lot of people think about it because you're happy, you're drinking, you're excited, you just got paid. I think when you're sitting down here or in your car, then people do think. Mm. So it depends on the setting. Okay, DJ exclusive, we have to go, but you, you have a message for your people out there, just look at the camera and yeah. tell the youth what yeah. you think they should be doing as they move ahead. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I want to thank them for supporting me so much, uh, 13 years in this uh, DJing world, and thank all the people out there that really, really have bought my CDs and all. Uh, the message I'll just give out is, uh, first thing first, you need to stay in school, uh, get a degree, and once you got that degree, follow your passion, follow your heart, uh, don't be scared to try new things, you need to be bold. 
pray to God and sky is the limit. You never know. It could happen to you. Yeah. That's my message. Yeah. Sky is the limit. Thank you so much. DJ Exclusive, AKA Rotimi. <laughs> I like it. So it's AKA. Physicist, <laughs> yes. DJ Exclusive, AKA Rotimi. I like it. Physicist turned banker, turned <laughs> DJ, DJ, turned no, actor, <laughs> turned fashion <laughs> designer, <laughs> turned actor. He wants to make the money on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank thank you. You for and for you at home, thank you for allowing us to be a part of your morning. We've had fun. We've learned a lot. And again, I'd like to remind us about that little matter. We talked about Tochi Mbonu, who is in need of assistance to get a kidney transplant. Please do what you can mm -hmm. to assist. Nothing them. is too small. Nothing. The mother says she's interested in let her just have the operation and live. Do what you can to help. Thank you so much. My name is Neo Taibi. And I am your me, O Taibi. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye. Making an investment is a good decision to take. Investing wisely is more important. The Nigerian capital market provides you an opportunity to do so, and that is why here on Channels Television, every Saturday, Capital Market helps you understand the dynamics of the market from the start to the closing gong. And as the bulls and the bears struggle for supremacy, our analysis helps you make wise investment decisions. Tune in at this time for Capital Market, only on Channels Television.